I did some quick example on the seal saying hi. It's pretty fun. I also made another example. Um, this I added more um, keyframes to achieve uh, fast forwarding and slow motion at the same time. I wanted to make it look like a GoPro one. I know it's not even close, but it, it's more fun to add some fast forwarding at the same time. You can use the same technique to, to do this. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the Stingray uh, video clip. This is the boring Stingray video clip. It's nothing, but the uh, right side is uh, the slow motion effect that I apply, and we I'm going to show you how to do this. Well, let's um, get that original file import uh, let's drag the the footage into the composition and let's pick the range first and end to the end trim comp to work area so that I can um, trim the work area yeah you can check out my um, other video for color correction okay select the range right click Go to enable time remapping. This will allow me to uh, remap time. And you can click on the keyframe uh, button and add a keyframe for the beginning. And I'm going to add keyframe again for the end. These two keyframes um, define my slow motion area. So I'm going to increase the the time by dragging the one of the keyframe to the right. So now this becomes a this section becomes a slow motion area. Okay, now I extended the time, so I have to go to the computer setting. And first I'm going to change the frame rate because YouTube supports only 30 frames per second. Then I'm going to increase the duration to 10 seconds, just for now. Okay. Um, now I have 10 seconds of the video clip. I'm going to extend the current clip so that um, uh, I can accommodate the time that I increased um, for the slow motion. So now um, I have the slow motion section. It's pretty good, but the problem is there aren't many frames when I increase the time, uh, apply slow motion. So what I have to do is I have to use the motion blur and the uh, frame blend to actually increase some f uh, in between frames so that. Um, the slow motion section gets smoother. This is not necessary if um, you don't extend the slow motion very long. If the slow motion is like, uh, let's say, twice as long, then yeah, you don't need to do that. Let's make a movie and render it. Okay, let's check out the result. This looks pretty good, and this is where I wanted to freeze the moment. I think it's more interesting than before. I like it.